Hello and welcome to Infinity. So we was going for a walk with my wife and the dogs and we saw this tree and the nice mist and I said can you just sit over there so if we zoom into that you can see there we are there's the two dogs and so on so what should we do in terms of this let's try cropping I often will crop first to see if I can find the picture and we could crop the whole tree like this so we've got a nice kind of picture there and this is a picture because the tree is central here this is a picture of the tree and there are people underneath it so the tree is the subject and because it's landscape the eye is kind of going to go backwards and forwards this way which can the leading lines of the tree would help that but it's a kind of a bit boring so we'll undo that and we'll see if we can do a square crop because the sun's here and the person's down here but actually first of all i'm going to put here if i right click down here and go to the ellipse tool go to the center of the sun and control and shift and drag so i get in it coming out from the center there and then i'm going to put something of a blur on that i'm going to use the fx here could put on a, a gaussian blur with the you know, attachment but i can do it here and so in fact if i go up here this is just not going to be enough so let's put up something like 500 pixels there and there you've got a nice more of a of a smoother blur on it to fit it in more we'll go to click on normal and go down to soft light so it's more around the sun but it's still kind of a bit dominant there so let's bring this down here so i can see the sun a bit more so it's around about the 50 percent mark you can see the center of the sun but if we just click out there so we can see what's happening see before and after it's just putting out a bit more light in here so making this is stronger here to contrast with this so now if we crop there and if i click on the cogwheel there i can go to one to one there which gives me a square crop so i can put this here so on the sun in the corner so i want to bring this up here I want some grass in there to give me a ground but I'm looking here do I need a bit of the tree I think we need a fair amount of the tree in here and let's bring this down more so I'm going to get a bit of land there but I want this to be a bit more in the corner so I'm going to bring this in here bring it up a little bit here and i think that's about right and apply that that's so we've got the light up here so now we've got the contrast of the the light down here and the person down here with some some ground going along here so well, let's convert it to black and white you might as well because there's not much color in here anyway and that will give us a stronger picture and here we can play with this so red Normally that would affect the tree trunk, but not much is happening there because there's no, not really any red in it. So what about yellow? Well, that's going to affect the grass. So we want to darken up the base. So we've got a more solid ground underneath. Green's also going to affect that there. So let's bring that up a little bit more there. So we've got the stronger ground to sort of everything to sit on. Cyan, what's going to So the tree, there's a bit in the tree there. So I'm going to take that down a bit for the cyan and the blue it's going to have a similar sort of effect there but actually if i bring that up that gives me a bit more contrast i don't lose the mist but i've got a bit more contrast around the tree there and magenta very seldom does anything useful so anyway that's that there and then let's just try putting our curves on here and Normally I'd fill this space in here and this comes across here, but you're losing the mistiness here. And in fact, because if you go upwards, it actually makes the whole thing even more misty. So what you can do here is just bring this up a bit here so everything's not going exactly to, to black. And then just pull this down a bit here so you get that darkening effect, but not the hard black and white. So that gives that, preserves that dreamy, misty quality so we've got the contrast up here with the white sun down here with the the subject that's it and thank you very much for watching